In this video, we're going to install the first person party based RPG demo game into a brand new project with uh, game modules. There are a few steps you'll have to follow in order to get things working properly. Nothing major, just need to set up the scenes and other things like that. First, I suggest you download Unity 2021.3 LTS. For best results, the project should work in all future versions. It's definitely working in 2021.3 LTS, so I suggest using that. Please create a brand new project in the built-in render pipeline and don't have anything else in the scene just to make sure there's no conflict with other scripts. Go ahead and start by installing game modules from the package manager. Go ahead and import everything. Great, now install the party-based RPG demo game from the package manager. And again, choose everything. All right, if we check out the inspector here, we get a bunch of errors saying that the properties doesn't exist. If you were building this project yourself from scratch, properties would exist, but since you've just imported it, we just need to recreate properties. So let's go to the game modules window, click on the game modules window, manager window, dock it down here, click on properties, and then click create now. That'll save the properties code right here. Unity will recompile and these errors will go away. All right, go ahead and clear out all these warnings and other things. Next, navigate to the scenes. Go ahead and open Infinity PBR, the Game Modules folder, Demo Game Projects, Party Based RPG, and Scenes, and load up the build settings from the file menu. We need to add the scenes to the build settings, so just go ahead and drag all four scenes over, the title, character creation, demo world, and demo dungeon, and then close that window. Go ahead and load up the title screen and press play. Right, create a new game. In the character creation scene, you can create your characters. You can set their portraits. Are you done? Finally, let's fight. Choose some voices. Set their races and classes via the item attributes here. You can set their three starting skills each. I could smash things, but I prefer hugs. And you can assign points to their stats. Now, if you assign all the points and give everybody three different skills, then you can start the game, or you can press the debug start and just skip the whole process and start with the settings you have there. And now we have the demo scene. So you can go ahead and walk through this, explore it all, and check out the deep dive video into the scene. And here we have the scene. So explore that and check out the demo buttons up here for the first quest. You just have to click this button a few times to give yourself some gold. And definitely check out the scripting behind all of this to see how everything works. Check out the console, which is going to have helpful debug logs to, to give your attention to different modules and what they're doing. And come to the Discord if you have any questions. Have a great day. Thanks.